if you're like me, then you always wanted perfect chess rolls. And I watched a lot of tutorials and I couldn't figure it out. It didn't help me. They taught me with the hoops spinning in front of me and then kind of using the momentum like that, which I found really difficult. And in those tutorials, they teach you to just kind of open your hand like this. See that? And I think that's really hard. That's not how I do chest rolls. I hold the hoop just like this, and the hoop slides just like that. And you can even catch it over here on the other hand just like this. And I just wanted to share that with everyone because every single chest rope tutorial I see is this like spinning motion, you know, using the momentum of the hoop, which you can do, but there's also this other method that works so, so well. <laughs> and, um, for me, it was really hard at first. I had to kind of do this every day because there's a muscle right here that you don't really use. I really want to learn how to go back and forth, back and forth. There it is. And um, another cool thing you can do is, um, wait one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, another thing you can do is a double chest roll. And um, yeah, you just practice this every day and you don't wanna let go of the hoop until it's touching your forearm. That's really important. Lots of people wanna let go before and it just, it doesn't work like that. And another thing I see people do is they do this or they do this and you just, you gotta remember to stay flat. It's very important. <laughs> All right, I'm ruining my apartment now. Um, I hope this helps someone. Um, one thing that you can do if you don't wanna catch it right here is you can kinda Stick your wrist in there really quick. See that? But I just think it's um, funner and like a little bit cooler if you can catch it, toss it right back. <laughs> okay, thanks everybody.